Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. Uh, once again, I'm going to be blending a little bit of the Chargers playbook, and I'm going to be using a scheme I'm going to try to highlight in this playbook out of the Kansas City Chiefs formation. It's the Gun Y off uh, trips formation. Um, it's a scheme that is on my Patreon channel, but I want to go ahead and try to highlight this uh, in this gameplay. Uh, so uh, start off getting the ball right away, and then immediately my quarterback overthrows the ball. I, this is the weirdest thing. I've thrown, I've thrown this pass like a, a maybe a, a couple hundred times in practice mode and in game modes, uh, and he just completely just whiffed the ball. Just It just flo just floated in the air and ended up giving an interception um, on the first play of the game. So um, that's not a good way to start, especially when you're playing against a team that's a high-powered offense like uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, that team can put a lot of points up, so that's not a good situation to be in. So uh, he actually actually comes out in his own uh, twin set um, uh, iPhone formation and right here I'm actually trying to dial up a blitz um, and he actually hits a little crossing run in the back inside actually good read pulls out he just rolled out a little bit off to the side and actually picks up a first down no huddle me uh, I go and jump into cover four just to try to change things up a little bit sometimes when I start spamming that that, that 43 in blitz um, I get myself caught but even with a cover four shell he's able to go ahead and find the seam and get a touchdown so I'm behind the eight ball I'm giving the ball back to him in the second half um, in this type of situation. So I just jumped out of that, that gun wire uh, off offense formation and went into a run. And now I hit the bubble off the opposite side. He had nobody over there, so that's why I hit the bubble. Now I go at verticals, uh, one of my base plays. He's running like cover four right here. I drop it down, get a strange animation again. So typically the, I can I can throw that ball with very deliberately not having any issues, but I just I was getting a lot of strange animations to start the game. And sometimes you kind of think that's like, you know, how mad and kind of adjust from one a better team to another team. So right here, pop that little uh, that little hitch route. No no overthrown ball, so able to get a first down. I think I'm looking uh, to do a little old one trap, but his defensive tackle Jones is able to go ahead and gobble that up. Uh, so I go back to the little pop route right Right there just go and hit the little hitch get some yards third and two situation go back to the run um, what's good about not showing the run too much is then it's going to catch your opponent off guard so that's the good thing about but blending that particular formation in with that that run and just jumping in the run a little bit just to keep your opponent off guard so he goes with the run himself i get a nice little block shed off of his center uh, with my tackle then he goes back to play action he's got crossing routes going all over the place and uh, right here he's locked up doesn't know what to do he doesn't make any kind of reads and then right there i get a i get a coverage sack so lucky for me now i go ahead and set up the blitz i'm going to go and do some aggressive blitz um, i actually did not have one of his other guys manned up i had to pull away and he's, he was able to go ahead and, and just throw against my user and then right here he showboats against me, actually, just just completely showboats. I try to dive tackle this situation. He's waving. He's he, he's uh, taunting me. No, don't worry about that. I'm gonna remember that. I'll, I'll remember that. So right here, go back to the o, uh, O1 trap um, and pick up a few yards right there. Just trying to establish a scheme. Do the bubble off to the right hand side. Previous gameplay, I didn't really get see, get an opportunity to hit the bubble because but there was just really nobody on the other side. Now I actually get a lucky break. That one guy was in the zone, but I think he ran commit and he pulled down and got himself out of position. So that was a lucky break for me. And I hit him up top with a streak route and able to go to get a touchdown. So this whole scheme that I'm using right now is on my Patreon. If you guys wanted to see that, that's out of the Kansas City playbook. It's also in the Bears playbook too. So if you like to use Bears or Kansas City, you can see this scheme. Uh, so um, back, uh, you can see that uh, basically his quarterback is lit up hits me drops a dime right over the top of me with with three kill now this is what's going to happen this guy liked to stretch the ball out deep he didn't he didn't like dinking and dunking and that's basically what is going to be is his Achilles heel so plays break down completely right here he tries to redirect his running back but he's unable to get it uh, get the ball off I get a, a coverage sack so second and 18 situation now I go ahead and dial up the blitz and I'm going to go ahead and try to user his tight end over the middle and I actually get um, a hit on him on, on a pressure so this is what is his adjustment. I'm going to go ahead and use her and take away his tight end. He makes a really good adjustment. He does it like a corner route. He hits that and actually goes ahead and gets a first down uh, with a nice little animation. First and 10 situation. Now I jump back into coverage. Um, I'm basically just trying to play over the middle of the field, take away some of these crossing routes. He drops it down to the running back. I get a tackle right there. So second and three type situation. Now I jump into 
Um, I think man coverage in this type of situation. He's got some crossing routes, and he takes off this quarterback and gets a first down. So, you know, good decision-making by him offensively. Um, uh, very good decision-making. So now I go into a cover four drop type situation with, with my defense. I've got basically um, a guy up there, and I get away with a huge break. That was a huge play right there because he threw the ball into the back of the end zone. If he would have caught that, uh, it would have been a situation where he was going to be up by another score, and you can see how huge that is. Now I come back with the blitz, but he actually throws it back to his tight end, so he thought he can get that again against me, and as a result, because I manned him up and actually did it, I intercepted him, and I stopped him from scoring right before the half, and I'm kicking the ball off to him. So that was a huge interception, huge, huge, huge interception. He was in field goal range, missed out on the opportunity. By throwing that interception, it actually kept me into this game. Now it actually goes ahead. I get a break on, on the first play of, of a half and get an interception. He actually throws the ball, throws and uh, falls into my uh, in my defender hand. I'm able to go ahead and get it, uh, get a uh, interception right there. So I try to hit it with the, with a the run off the left. Now I'm going to try to run him on the inside. He gets a nice block shed by his defensive line. Third and goal type of situation. I'm going to go and stay with the run. I was running out of time. Try to hit him off the edge, and his defensive tackle actually comes up with a huge play in the game. And I'm going to take the points. I'm going up by score. Um, I, I've clawed myself back into this game. He's got a high-powered offense. I want to be in a situation that if, if I have to score to win the game, at least I'm going to have a possession above him. So that's why I took the field goal, even though it was a yard out, uh, just because it's a smart play. So this is a defense that I actually started switching into um, that started causing him some problems. So right here, he tries to do a stretch play. My defense actually just completely ate that up. Um, and then I'll also, right here, what I did is I spied up um, my linebacker to just take away his option of running with the ball. Uh, but I have a QB contain, which actually was not the thing to do because I want to have my edge rushers building pressure. And if QB contains, they, if the guy stays in the pocket, those, those edge rushers are not going to come in like this play right here. See how the edge rushers came in? Yeah, they actually made a move and got in and got in his face and forced a bad pass. So fourth and 12 situation, he actually takes another shot up top and I'm able to go and deflect it. So I'm in the driver's seat now in this type of situation. Hit a little bubble, get some nice blocking right there, Get pick up like about eight yards on that. Back to the run play right now. I'm just trying to quick snap it. Nobody's out there. Blocking is all set up, and I'm able to go up by a touchdown. So up now by two scores against this guy, and this guy was in the driver's seat from the very beginning. So back to this defense right here. I'm going to spy up that middle linebacker. I'm going to use her, um, my, my free safety, and I'm going to make sure that my, my defensive line is just trying to get through. And right here, I actually go ahead and create another bad play. So that that's the key of the defense is that I've got my spy to prevent him from rolling out, but also I can't do the QB contain uh, because I need these guys actually trying to break off of those, uh, those offensive linemen to go ahead and cause pressure. So I jumped in cover six, switched things up a little bit. I actually spied up my outside linebacker, and he dots me up underneath. That was a really, really good play right there with that underneath route. So basically going into the fourth quarter now, um, up by two scores, just need to get a stop against this guy. So I'm going to stay with this cover three uh, buzz buck defense. It seems to be the defense that's working best against them. So I'm going to go and set this up, spy up that middle linebacker, uh, and basically go ahead and try to take away some of his crossing routes. He tries to dot me up. King does not come down with the ball, neither does Tariq, and as a result, I get a deflection. Second and ten situation, we'll stay with this, this cover three buzz buck defense. Now he goes in a widespread um, offense. He basically spreads everybody out but I'm gonna go and stay with the same set and force this guy to make some reads make some decisions if he was dropping things down to the flats he probably would have been a lot better but because he was doing all these vertical type plays these deep crossing type plays he, he didn't have the options that he was looking so 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 I actually get a coverage sack right there third and 21 type situation once again gonna stay with the same defense no reason to change it up this guy's been struggling with his defense the entire time um, I'm going to stay away from the contain so I can at least get some edge pressure with my good edge rushers right there. He's got some crossing routes. Uh, he's got three routes going the same direction. He actually takes off this quarterback and four guys trying to take out Tariq Hill. I don't know what he was thinking with that particular play. Obviously, he was frustrated with his defense, but it's really his play calling more more than anything else. If he would have started going down to the flats, um, that would have driven some. Uh, that would have basically ate that ate that defense up. But uh, he didn't really have any kind of an option whatsoever. So now, uh, basically, a fourth and in, in, uh, twelve type situation. I'm 
gonna do the contains because he did sp he did pull out or, or roll out the previous play. Still got a, a QB can uh, a QB can spy up there. I've got four uh, four guys up in verticals and then actually mid mid um, zoned um, and middle guy. So I wanted him to play a little bit more depth and right there I'm able to go and pick him off uh, and frustrate him. So broke down this guy's offense. This guy's offense was fairly simplistic. Uh, he ended up quitting out. I ended up getting a win. But uh, once again, guys, I just want to—I show you these gameplays not because I want to show you all my victories and how great I am. I just want to show you that the schemes that I build for my channel and for my Patreon do actually work. You can see it firsthand online and ranked. So once again, thank you for your support. Until next time.